Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros. Buying a Windows license has always been one of the most annoying things about building budget PCs. Most people actually just resort to torrenting it because they just plain run out of money and they use the famous bypass key KMS Pico. And yes, this is definitely not legal to use, but welcome to the world of torrenting. There is another option that people have been going to as of recent third party keys, or as some people refer to them as black market keys. Why can you get these for so cheap, sometimes way, way below the retail price? And should you actually consider picking them up instead of paying me $100 plus for a full Microsoft licensed key? Let's talk about that after a word from today's sponsor. Want to see more content like this? Please consider supporting us on Patreon with rewards like custom roles on our Discord server and one-on-one -on -one build consultations. You also even get access to behind the scenes release content before it even goes live. Check the link down below to learn more. Before we start this video, a few housekeeping things to get out of the way. Yes, we have actually worked with brands who supply these style of keys. And no, they are in no way affiliated with this video. Our opinion is our own. Now, those third-party Windows keys are actually very similar to the game marketplaces like G2A, in the basic sense that most, not all, are actually acquired in some very sketchy ways. For example, some of these keys may actually be acquired by people who purchased them in mass bulk using stolen credit cards and then turned around and sold them before they were taken back. Another tactic that is known as chargeback scams is where people actually purchase a ton of these keys hoard them away and file chargebacks for stolen cards. All of these, while very similar, are still highly illegal, but are done under the cover of the internet. Now yes, not all of the keys that these companies sell are produced this way. These are just some of the most well-known ways that have been documented. Some of these keys may even be from complicated key generators, or even bought from poorer countries for dirt jeep and then flipped on US and other European markets. All of these ways are what result in a very overall sketchy marketplace and some hesitation from people. So what are the risks? Well, you are really at no risk of getting in trouble per se, but keep in mind, buying these keys cheap can be a risk based on how they are obtained. You can get a key from, let's say, Kingwin, one of the most popular options out there, and have it work for a couple of months, and then after some Windows update, have an unlicensed copy of Windows that doesn't work, which really is not that limiting at all. I'll actually leave a link to a video by a friend of mine, Tech by Matt, who made a video really specific on how running Windows unlicensed really isn't as bad as people say it is. So what is my personal stance on the subject? Well, we have worked with companies before who offer keys like this, and in our tests, most of them have worked fine for us in the long term, and most of the systems that we have lying around actually use some of these keys. But honestly, it's all up to you and your morals. I understand the argument both ways, and I kind of go back and forth most of the time. Buying these keys could be a means that you are getting a stolen key, a generated key, or one that could actually be totally legitimate that was bought from somewhere for really cheap. But really, there is no way to attach the origin of these keys to the physical key itself. So I would approach these sites with a little bit of skepticism if you plan to buy a key. Most of the time, they will work. But just understand that the price that you're getting it for indicates the possible risks involved. But hey, I know a good 60% of you are in the comment section right now saying just torrent windows anyways. So there's that. That about wraps this video up here, guys. If you like this video, leave a like and comment robots down below if you made it this far. Also consider subscribing and turning on those bell notifications to know when each video goes live. We upload videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, so always come back if you didn't get a notification to check if there's a video you missed. And I hope to see you all in that next video, guys. Peace out.